man, that was more of a feat than I anticipated. Hey guys, and welcome back. I have a couple of baby free hours today. So I am super excited to organize all of our toys. Well, I'm not excited to organize them, but excited to have it done. <laughs> I used to have a system that worked pretty well, honestly, but then we had William's birthday, we had Christmas, and then he got a couple things sprinkled in there with Valentine's Day and everything. So the, the system we used to have just doesn't work and honestly is currently non-existent. We're starting from scratch because I knew I had to reorganize so I wasn't putting things back correctly. <sighs> Not happy, not happy with my past self about that. But what can you do at this point? So I'm just putting all of the books back on the shelf. We do not rotate his books or stuffed animals that are in his bedroom. And ideally that's pretty much the only toys I want in his bedroom. I've noticed if we do that, then we read just a ton, a ton more books. We might have one bigger toy like his barn or you know, toys just wander in here throughout the week. But I'm hoping to just keep it mostly books and stuffed animals. And then we have his toy rotation out in the living room and then we're outside all the time. So we have outdoor toys too. <sighs> but I just don't want just toys everywhere. Hence our toy rotation. I started out by going to every single room in our house and just picking up all the toys. Every bit, every bob, every piece I could find. I was trying to put um, puzzle pieces and activities back together to make my life easier later on um, as much as I could, but I had to make a stop, you know, to the fridge where William loves to put his toys all of a sudden. I also went to the car. I feel like every single time we leave the house, there's a toy in hand, and when we come home, my hands are too full to bring it in. <laughs> Got everything from under the crib, under the couch cushions, just literally anywhere you could think of. Once everything was in his room, I tried to sort everything into categories. So all the trucks together, all the puzzles together, things like that. And I was trying to keep in mind the type of bins I would be using as best as I could. As you see here, I was using diaper boxes. I love to organize in diaper boxes. They really are just the perfect size and durable and easy to store and stack. Once everything was sorted, I got all the little pieces and put them all back into place so we are never hunting for a puzzle piece. Wow, you don't realize how much you have until it's all laid out like this. <laughs> Ooh, man, that was more of a feat than I anticipated. And I am currently still surrounded by a sea of toys. <laughs> but I have everything separated into categories, at least somewhat. And now I'm going to put them in different bins, hopefully... I'm gonna make it so everything is easily accessible for toy rotations and if I just want like an extra activity to pull out or whatever. Um, these are really cool. You can get these off Amazon, but I think my mother-in-law got these for me off of QVC, I'm pretty sure, these exact ones. And they are just collapsible cubes so you can make them flat if you don't need all of them. They came in a pack of four. So I'll be using these and then I also bought two of these stackable drawers um, at Walmart. They were $10 each. So I have two of those. And then I forgot I had these in the garage or I probably wouldn't have bought those drawers. Um, they're definitely smaller and I, I don't know, they're Rubbermaid. These were, I don't even know where they came from guys. Don't even know where they came from. I literally just washed them up. They were like super dusty in the garage. Um, haven't been used in forever, but I figured I'll use these. And then if I want to use these, I can, or I can just return them. Um, 
But yeah, just going to keep everything super separated and organized so I know where to find everything. And for activities and things that have lots of little pieces that I don't just wanna like throw in the bin. Um, I have these little mesh bags. They came in all these different colors. I don't even know, pack of 50 or something. I have a big size and then I have this little size. I wish I had a medium, but these I just bought a while back for something else and figured it would be good to use now to keep things separated. I haven't decided if I'm going to store puzzles flat and stack them or if I'm going to take out the pieces and put it in the bags. I know a lot of people like to store them in like a pot rack, you know, I just don't have one. Um, and I just don't know where I'd put the pot rack to store it properly, you know, because I'm using one closet here stacking vertically. I don't have like a shelf, but hopefully these little bags will help me keep everything together and not lose little pieces, which actually, now that I'm looking at it, we're missing a couple puzzle pieces and things. I, I went everywhere in my house, unless they're in the diaper bag or Will's truck, but they shouldn't be. Ooh, I did not look under the couch. Pause. Okay guys, this is everything I found under the couch. So I found most of what I needed. All we're missing is one puzzle piece. Hmm. I am so pumped because I fit 90% of our toys in one closet. So I think it's looking pretty good minus these labels that I still have to pick off. I just did not have time for that today, guys. Did not have time. <laughs> so starting over here, this is actually just like clothes and toys he has to grow into. So ignore one of those. Um, up here is all of our Montessori stuff and I tried to keep everything either in its original packaging or use those mesh bags. So it's all organized and put together so I can just pull something out and replace it for toy rotations. Then over here, this top one, which I did, by the way, turn these backwards so you can't see them, hoping that he won't point up here and say, I want that toy, I want that toy. Um, did my best there. If I have to like black these out, you know, with construction paper or something, I can, but I think those toys are small enough. He won't. My only issue is the barn. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Back over here. <laughs> um, this is filled with trucks, literally all trucks. And then down here is music and tools. And I just try to keep those together, all of the pieces and parts. This is probably the bin I'm most excited about. It's all those figurines, which always gets mixed up and always just, you know, there's always an animal missing for his barn or something. Everything is now separated and sorted in those mesh bags. Up top here, more trucks and cars. Of course, can't have too many when you're a little William. The very top is actually just bins and bags for my toy rotations. So... I can easily display the activity of the game or whatever. Over here, up top here, we have airplanes and trains. And then this, um, this bin here literally only has crayons in it. And that is because I have a full section for crafts um, in the garage, but I wanted a little new spot here because I know we're going to be getting into Play-Doh and painting and all this stuff. So I want to have a couple things easier to get to, you know, simple grab and go stuff. So that's what that's going to be filled with shortly. 
Over here, just some bulkier items, his little star projector and a Montessori toy. They're just bigger that we're gonna take up one of these bins. And then down here, we have a big basket of his stuffed animals. I do try and rotate um, a couple of these out. So like I have this dinosaur up here, just so the ones at the bottom, you know, they need some love too. Um, but then in this drawer, I have some different types of balls because he loves to play with balls. I know for a fact there are a couple more outside. We have some shoes here. Got a couple more by the front door, but I, I don't really know how to store his shoes. Um, so that's what, that's what it's looking like right now. This is kind of the random bucket, guys. These are just random, random things and they just didn't have a place. But I also kind of like that this is a little more, I don't know, grab and go type if I do want to bring some extra activity or extra toy, um, you know, in the car or to grandma's house or something. This is, you know, you can just pull this out and pick something out. And of course, more books. But as far as his barn, so for now, I'm totally cool with keeping the barn up here as long as he's not like asking for it every single day um if he wants it like i'm not gonna be like strict on toy rotations i'm just not that way but if he's asking for it every single day then i might move it into the garage because i actually probably won't show you guys in this video because i haven't got it all set up yet but i have a little shelf that i'm going to be putting his bigger toys on so like his bigger push um school bus his cart um what else his little walker. He has a Paw Patrol car. I'm going to kind of line those up in our garage, which if you guys are new here, hello, welcome, subscribe. Um, but our garage has an insulated garage door and has an AC. So um, I use it as my office. And so there's definitely just, you know, some extra AC room in there to store some other toys. Not that it really has to be AC. Anyway, as I ramble, that is what everything is looking like as far as our outside toys. They're all just kind of chilling like on our patio. I have to figure out if I want a shelf or a big toy box or a bin of some sort to store them all in. I just, guys, we live in Florida. I don't want to open up a bin and have a frog and lizards and snakes or whatever pop out. I don't know. I know that seems dramatic, but if you live in Florida, like, you know, you just know. You just know. We have a screened in patio and there's been a snake in there once. And uh, thankfully it's gone. But <laughs> I just, I don't know. I like to see everything out in the open. So I'm going to have to really brainstorm on the outside toys and show you guys a different day. But for now, this is what we got going on. It feels so much better in this house right now. Just not, you know, there's just not bits and bobs everywhere. But now I have to get in here and actually pick a toy rotation for little man. He is probably pulling up any second with grandma and he's going to be like, where in the world are all my toys? <laughs> so I'm going to pull um, six or seven things out and start our rotation and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.